Hey guys, welcome to the Whimsical Workshop. I have an order that I placed at the H&H &H show about some new products we're gonna be carrying in the website. And I'm gonna open this up and share it with you. So let's get started. So, um, if you have been watching any of my videos, you know I have been all over the world here. Well, not the world, but all over the country. Um, and one of the trips we took was to H&H &H America, which is a trade show, a fiber trade show in Chicago. They sell um, all wholesale so that we can then purchase it to sell to you guys. And I found some super cool, exciting stuff. We will be carrying Amigurumi kits here shortly, and we're going to be carrying more embroidery and hand sewing and cross-stitch kits. Most of my stuff is going to be whimsical, so I have gone out and found some other designers to carry their products that kind of fill out so we get more um, people hit a bunch of different tastes. They all happen to be things I love as well, even though I don't design that way. Um, but this one was really, really cool. This is from a company called Avlia. Avlia. And I had the nicest time talking to the lady at H&H. &H. Um, she was just the most lovely lady. Uh, her stuff just jumped off out and was so different from everybody else's. I really, really was excited to start carrying her stuff. So I'm going to unbox this. So let's look down here. I've already opened it up here um, and see what we've got inside. So uh, let's see here. This is my packing slip, which I will have to be a good girl and check off. Um, I did order a needle minder, which I should probably show you after the pattern, but it's right here on top. I just thought this was stunning. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's just, I don't, it has a name, but I don't know what it is. I just thought this was really, really pretty. All of my needle minders are super cute, but when you're, I like my needle minder to match my project. I know that sounds silly. But I do, and these are very elegant, so I needed an elegant needle minder because I will be stitching a couple of these as samples. So the first thing I ordered was, uh, what are these? Oh, this is a free little chart. Oh, how cute these are. So it's a free little embroidery chart, and it's called Iris's Paint Box. Now, she did a huge um, piece like this, um, so these are really, really cute. Um, and there's the little chart and what it should look like. So I can stick these in the first, what do I got? Six, five. I can stick one of these in the first pe five people to order this off our website. Um, but her whole thing is it's Mediterranean folk embroidery. Um, and she, let me just read through here really quick. She was picking these designs up. They're, they're Greek embroidery patterns from the 50s and 60s, Byzantine designs, um, just Greek, Greek Orthodox stuff. I need to read through here um, and give you some more info. But they echo the ideas from the Roman and Byzantine embroidery designs that can be seen in folk embroidery traditions of countries like Serbia, uh, Russia, Greece, Italy, Spain, France, Germany, and even as far north as Scandinavia. So what I did is I ordered a couple of her smaller kits, and then I ordered um, some patterns of her bigger design. So this is a kit to make this little guy right here. Um, it looks like it will finish at six by eight, and that's that's the chart. So not too hard, but very, very pretty. It's just a little, it could be a rug mug, it could be the front of a bag. But the thing is, her stuff all comes on this beautiful um, Greek linen. And then she does use DMC thread. So this is one kit. This is called um, Byzantine Star Bit Kit. So there's that. And this guy will retail... Where, she didn't give you the retail price. I don't have the retail price. I will have to get you that. It'll be on the website when you go, and I'll put a link below. So I ordered three of those. Then these, this is what made me stop at her booth. How beautiful is that? And this is embroidery. So this is not cross-stitch. Um, this is Kona cotton printed with the design, embroidery floss, beechwood hoop, needles, and instructions to embroider this guy. I just think that's so pretty. I can't wait to do that one. And then I ordered three of those. Oops, he got stuck to this. There we go. 
order three of those. Ah, they're all stuck. One, two. Oh dear. Don't rip my pattern. There we go. Phew. One, two, three of those. I'll keep the munchy one because I said I'm going to do one. And then we've got the Thistle Leaf Floral. And I got three of those. This is also embroidery. So it is printed on the cotton already. You're just embroidering over it, but you're going to make these really pretty florals. Um, and then th this, this I ordered the patterns for you guys, but the kit for me to stitch up for the sample. I think it goes like this. Isn't that just so pretty? So, so pretty. Um, and so I'm excited to stitch this up. Um, and this, we have the patterns available for it. This is the Ottavarian Spar and Vine. And then I bought another bitty kit for you guys. And this one is called the Mediterranean Sampler. How pretty is that? This one will finish, it starts on 12 by 12. So it's gonna finish smaller than that. Oh, it finishes at seven and a half by seven and a half. So that is little, and that is done on this beautiful, oh, I'm pulling everything out. This is Meekany 100% Mercer cotton. It is so soft and so lovely. And then we have our threads, um, our needle, and our pattern. So that's all in this kit. And I ordered three of those. Oops. Get my stuff back in here. And yes, ideally I'll stitch one of these, each of these for our booth, but oh, I think, okay, so that's all of those. And then, so here's the other ones I ordered. Um, I ordered three of these to go with the one I already showed you. Then I ordered this. This is called the Byzantine rose border and i thought this was really cool because there's the border isn't that pretty but then look the option and i think it's an option let's make sure before i speak out of no. oh yeah it, there's an option to do it where's my camera with these little teeny tiny dragons so you can be grown up and do the grown-up version or you could be a Heidi and do the dragon version um, but these are just patterns I just ordered the patterns not the whole kit because um, you know they were expensive kits and I, I want to give people a chance to fall in love with her stuff at all price points so we do have these if somebody does want a kit I certainly can order um, the full kit with the floss and everything um, you can email me at the address I'll put here on the screen, Heidi at the whimsicalworkshop.com, and I can give you the kit price if that's what you'd like. And I think that's the last thing I ordered. So I ordered two big patterns, the um, rose border and this beautiful gold and blue one. Um, that's my kit. I ordered the three Mediterranean sampler kits. These are full kits with the beautiful Greek fabric in it. I ordered the embroidery, two different embroidery kits, and then I ordered the itty bitty, um, the really pretty pink itty bitty uh, Byzantine star kit. So we will get these, um, try to get these up on my website, but if for some reason this video goes live before these are on the website, you can either leave me a comment below or email me at Heidi at the whimsical workshop.com. Tell me which one you want. Tell me if you want the kit. Um, the little guys are only kits, but the big ones, if you'd want a kit versus a pattern, let me know. I can tell you the price of the kit. I just have to look it up. So with all that being said, email me, leave me a comment, make sure you like and subscribe, push the bell if you want to be notified and give me a thumbs up. Comments and thumbs up really helps my channel get noticed and seen by more people and I truly appreciate all of your support that you have given me on this channel and so let's keep growing it. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.